So, anyone wants to tell us a little bit about the place that we're, we're heading to tonight? Um, Alright, so right now we're headed down to the, uh, the club district, the entertainment district. It's wow. King and Spadina. We're going down there to share the blessed gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise God. Because He has redeemed us from the curse of the law. And we seek to serve Him and please Him and do His will. Amen. So, blessed to be with our brothers. Yes. Frank, Brother Eric, Brother Christian, Brother Edwin. Blessed to be with brothers who love Jesus. Yes. And are not ashamed of the gospel not of Christ. Not ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of it God unto salvation. The power of God to Every salvation. Ten square city blocks <laughs> full of young people stumbling in darkness. What are you doing tonight? That is the, that's the ultimate question. If we believe that he rose, he rose from the grave, oh, yeah. you should be out there on the streets 24-7. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless you. That means to change your mind. It is God's will that you change your mind about sin. Change your mind about the clubbing and the drunkenness and the marijuana. Change your mind about the revelry and the debauchery and the self-indulgence. For these things drown men in sin. Do not be deceived. If you think you are having victory, you are in defeat. You are being defeated. There is an enemy of your soul who is defeating you. And you need to come to Jesus Christ, the only means by which you can have your sins forgiven. Jesus Christ, the only means by which you can gain true victory in this life. Jesus Christ is the only means by which you can gain the peace of God. Jesus Christ is the only means by which you can have true joy. What a mind! For some of you, the very mission statement of your life is all about mind, hoarding, accumulating. Jesus says a man's life does not consist in what he possesses. You know, for that's some right. of you, that's what your life consists of. That life. On what you possess. That's not God's priority for you tonight, sinner friend. God's priority is that you get right with God. Now, why is getting right with God the priority. Why isn't it just a priority? Because tonight, you are only one heartbeat away from death. That is it. You are only one heartbeat from standing before God in judgment. You want to know why you're going to stand before God in judgment? Do you want to know why you're going to stand before God in judgment? Because you're morally obligated to God. No, I won't shut up. Which God? The only one that can take you out of your sin. You got yourself in sin. You bent over backwards to make a mess of your life. Many of you know that your life is a mess. But the true God, the only God, is the one who can take you out of your sin. But that day is not today. Today is the day of mercy. Today, forgiveness is available. Today, you can know God. Today, you can have fellowship with the Lord. Today, you can have a relationship with the Lord. Today, you can be forgiven of your sins. Jesus Christ died. So today, you can be forgiven of your sins. But know this. If you continue in your sin, if you continue to reject the grace of God, if you would continue to spurn the merciful hand of God, then all that awaits you is the eternal hell that is to come. And we're here today pleading with you. Young people of Toronto, we plead with you. Flee the wrath that is to come. Flee the judgment of God that is to come. Run for your lives. Jesus Christ's arms are outstretched, bidding you to come to Him and receive eternal life. Receive the grace of God that comes to forgiveness of sin.
No, it's not good if you're a sinner. Nobody is good. If you're a sinner, your soul is not good. I want you to trust it. Your soul is eternalized. I want you to trust it. Trust in him. No matter what anybody else says. Trust in him. Only found in the person of Jesus Christ. A holy life! Yes, and giving you that body to get drunk. Most of you know that your body wasn't made to get drunk. That's why you get the hangover. The hangover. That's why you ladies have had so many conversations with the Chula Ball. And it will continue, unfortunately, for many of you. But God made you to live a righteous, oh my goodness, here we go. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you know what, holy Jesus. life. I know, he's not sinful, I know. No, it's not just about God being holy. It's about you being holy. God has made you as a tree to produce good fruit. Do you have any good fruit, ladies? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah? Fornication is not one of them. Getting drunk is not one of them. Living to buy covetousness is not one of them. Anybody out here was broken over sin. When was the last time you were broken over your sin? When was the last time you wept over your sin? But many today, you celebrate your sin. You cheer on your sin. And the very sin you cheer on is the very sin that's going to destroy your soul in hell. You must become broken over sin. You must have a heart of the Lord. Have you forsaken your sin? Then you don't have a humble heart. You don't have to be sinners. The Bible says the pleasure of sin is just for a moment. The Bible gives the love and says repent. Change your mind about sin, young man. Stop loving sin and start loving righteousness. Stop loving drunkenness and fornication and pornography. Stop loving weed and cigarettes. Stop loving these things and start loving righteousness. Start loving God because you're made in the image of God. And every time you sin, you defile your conscience. You defile your conscience every time you sin. Every time you walk away from the presence of God, many of you continue to live in your sins. Repent of your sins and trust the Lord in Jesus Christ. To you take it down the root of the problem. What sense? You can't get down the root of the problem. What's the good one? You can't get down the root. Shame on you. Shame on you. Extra. You 
I'm intoxicated by the Holy Spirit. Oh. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Shame on you. May the Lord God have mercy on your life tonight. May He have mercy on your life tonight. May you would dare to utter those words. Jesus Christ came to reveal the standard of God to man, and what he said was, love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your heart, and with all your soul, and your fellow man as you love yourself. Now all of you have broken those commandments. Most of you have not loved God the way that He deserves to be loved, and you have certainly not loved your fellow man the way He deserves to be loved. Most of you have lied, cheated, lusted, had murder in your heart, and you stand guilty before a holy God who will judge the world in righteousness. You see, this society loves a God who pats you on your back, a God who helps you with your career and your bank account. But this society is very much against a God who is holy and who demands holiness from His creation. You see, God didn't create you to stumble around a slave of alcohol. God didn't create you to stumble around to decide who is going to be your next sexual conquest. God didn't create you to be a piece of meat, and God did not create you to pickle your liver. What God created you for is to have fellowship with Him and to walk holy in a way that brings glory to His name, in which your conduct and your words and your thoughts bring glory to the God who made you in His image. But, you have influences. Influences all around you. You have to accept the evidence. Will you humble yourself before God? Will you seek Him? Will you accept the evidence that He is good? And that we all as human beings have a problem with God. We all have sin. We all have violated His commandments. We all have sinned against one another. Listen, if what you're doing here is exchanging witticisms, then I'll readily admit that you're a very smart guy. However, if you're wondering whether you can know God, then we can talk. If you don't care though, if you're happy, if you're happy in whatever you're carrying on, that's fine, this message is not for you. This message is for people who know that they're sinners. Listen. This message is for people who know that they're sinners and that they're in need of reconciliation with God, who have the peace with God. But God will judge you for the choices that you make. You reject His love. Thank you to said that. You know how foolish that question is? You know how foolish that statement is? Think about it. In order to say that there is no God, you would have to have exhaustive knowledge, which, which no one would claim. Larry. So that statement from the get-go is very foolish. And the Bible says, the fool says in his heart there is no God. Who? Men. Men. Uh, 40 authors, 66 different books. And that? What do you mean? The question makes no sense. You're saying that because a book is written by a man, it cannot be true. That's, a, that's an absurd statement. All that you're saying right now is written by other men as well. Your arguments uh, I've heard from hundreds of young people like you. So you're regurgitating the same thing. What does Jesus do for everyone is provide, is provide a way for you to know the God who created you if you care. If you care. But the Bible says this, he who comes to God must believe that he is, please don't touch thank you. No, the Bible says that he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of those who the seek Bible, him. Seek the Bible him. also says... If you don't want to take it back. Okay, three of that's for free. What's that? Uh, tomorrow is Sunday. Tomorrow is Sunday. I mean... Okay, so why does the Bible say that everyone is different? Why does the Bible say that everyone is different?
The greatest fairy tale for adults. Evolution, the greatest fairy tale for adults. <laughs> Politics. God is calling you to himself, man. You can know Jesus Christ if you care. But if you're satisfied with the things you have in life, if you're happy with your money, if you're happy with the things you've accumulated for yourself, what are you trying to make me follow? Oh, I can't make you follow anything. You're, you're a free human being. I can't make you do anything. I'm trying to share with you the gospel of Jesus Christ so that you can turn to him and know the God who created you. And you can have true purpose in life. Instead of drunkenness and girls and being tough guys, that doesn't matter. What matters is Jesus Christ. That will only make you happy for a little while. And the Bible tells you that no fornicator will enter the kingdom of God. You give evidence against yourselves that you are haters of God. Because you hate the things that God loves, and you love the things that God hates. You give evidence against yourselves. But God is patient and long-suffering with you. Not wanting any of you to perish, but for all of you to come to repentance, and to receive pardon, and to be reconciled to the God who created you, and to have real purpose in life. Now many of you, are pretty tough guys but the problem is that you cannot impress the god who creates with the power of his word with a few little curse words shut up do you think well shut up when you stop sinning how's that shut up yeah we'll shut up when you stop sinning yeah no no because we love you and we don't want you to go to hell so we'll be quiet when you stop sinning otherwise this is the part of the mercy of God. All the things that God hates. John is serving God and living holy in His presence and experiencing His peace and His satisfaction and His joy in your heart. But of course, like a drug addict who thinks his drugs are the most fun thing, you think that doing sinful things are fun. But you have evidence in your own life that these things are neither fun nor good. Sin is destructive. Sin destroys the mind. Sin destroys the heart. When was a time where sin did something good for you? Alcohol pickles your liver. Smoke destroys your lungs. Illicit sexual relationships leave you heartless and hardened. And the lasts of this life do nothing to satisfy the longing of the human soul. So, God is willing to save you. God is willing to give you true purpose. God is willing to take you to himself and clean your slate. Free. Jesus Christ gave his life. Imagine that. The most expensive things. Yes. 
In this world, it's free. My boy! It shed blood of Jesus Christ for you on that cross. What's this guy saying? And yet most of you. I hate Jesus. Truth care less. Yes, an honest man. I hate Jesus. And that Jesus. is the truth of this him. world. Fuck Jesus. The world hates God. Oh, and this world fuck hates... Him. No, 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 thank you. Don't bring your own. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's okay. Get your own. Right. First thing you gotta do, man, is sober up. The Bible says. First thing I do is take The Bible says. First thing the Bible says: No drunkard will enter the kingdom of God. Do you know how serious that is, man? God does not take your sin lightly. Listen, man. Listen. Listen. Well, you you can have one. Go home. Yeah. And when you sober up, you read that. No, 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 no. Bring you home. Bring you home. Bring your, own. The power of Bring your own. Bring your own speaker, guys. No sharing of speakers. No sharing of speakers today. No, no, it's not about sharing your speakers with people. Have your fitness. That's what they do. Okay. So what? What answer do you have? Are you telling me right now? <laughs> do, do you feel that the exchange of ideas is something that's not good? Right. What do you mean? So you're, ex you're against ideas that you find offensive. So you only like ideas that comport with your opinions. That's not freedom. Why? Because we love you. You just take your soul seriously. I am brainwashed. I'm not brain dirty anymore the way you are. Let's go. That's right. I'm brainwashed. You need to get brainwashed too. Right. Exactly. Let's go. I mean, non belief as a belief. Really? That's really reasonable. You have it all wrong. Non belief as a belief. Like, what solutions do you have? You're wasting your time. What are your answers to any questions? You're wasting your time. I don't have to answer you. I don't have to answer him. I don't have to answer anybody. Nobody says you have to. I'm not begging anyone to believe in nothing. You stand here of your own accord. All I'm doing You're is standing everyone, have your own free will. All I'm asking is I want to be a good person, yeah. and that's it. But people are not good. Look at the world around you, man. The everyone, world is not good. No, everyone is not good. Everyone is good. That's everyone not true. Open the newspaper. Yes, it is. Have you, opened, have you read a newspaper? You're living in a fantasy world, man. The fact is that 90% of the world is flooded with murder and jealousy and anger. You know that. Wars are raging all around. You live here in your little Canada. Listen, you live here in your little Canada in peace. You go out with your friends and drink. 80% of the world that's like the luxury. Spit it. You know why? Why? Yeah, you don't want to hear it, right? You know why? Why is it started? Exactly. No. Tell me about ISIS. Can I answer you? Why? I thought you didn't want to listen to him. Okay. Let's move on to him. Let's move on to him. Well, you had one. You threw out the front. All right. Get back up. Yeah. You want an answer? Yeah. To your step. Okay. There is a look up online. If you really care about an answer, which I don't know if you do. I do. If you care, look up online the Encyclopedia of Human. Wars, okay? There's no, you just throw it on the ground. This is an encyclopedia produced by people, secular people, historians, who studied all the human wars. Okay? Of all the human wars on record. It's already biased because it's, it's started by secular people. What do you mean biased? It's biased. They already are like, this is secular As opposed to what? As opposed to people who are atheists. That's what secular means. Excuse okay, no, me. No. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you would like it because a Christian is an idiot and his opinions don't count. Okay, let's say the secularists are very smart, trustworthy people. Okay. The secular encyclopedia, of all the human wars on record, they actually tabulated them and they found that only about 12%, now these are scholars, 12% of those wars were actually religiously motivated. Once you corrected for Islam, it was about 6%. Okay, so that statement that you just made. That war is made by religion. It's actually yeah. false. It's actually not true scientific. Okay. It's just false. Yeah. It's just disinformation. Yeah. Yeah. It's disinformation, but it's okay, man. But you just reason. Use your reason. That's what I'm saying to you. Please stop grabbing my stuff. You just threw on the floor. Grab it. There it is. It's right there, man. It's the same one. Arrepiéntete, man. God's calling you. And it's closed. Tú sabes que Dios te está llamando, ¿no? Sí, Dios te llama. Él conoce tu corazón.
tienes que cambiar tu vida. Bueno, porque Dios odia el pecado. ¿Qué cosa? Yo creo que Dios tiene que ser Why are they entertaining you? Entonces el reino de Dios no va a ser así. No va a haber dolor. No va a haber. Just by chance, a law is the prophet. Muhammad is the real God. What if and just, Buddhists are just right? By being what if John Smith team, was right? You just well, you know what? I'd still be in a good camp. You know what? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just tell you the truth. If the truth is offensive, I can't help you. You chose the wrong God just by chance. Can you leave my guy knowing that? I'm telling you everything I got. I may or may not have chosen the wrong God. I can't, you know what? Because all the other gods out there say the Lord judge you for the wrong God. Have you ever heard of the God? The God in the Bible says, you broke it by law. You broke it by law. You're a law for it. I can't wait for the term. Which Bible? Because I can't wait for the term. He's not the God. And he's judged your life. On a scale basis. I would be okay on that basis. I would be okay. I would be okay. Allah being the right God? No. Are there non I'm in the I'm in the right category with what you're saying. Because Jesus says that he's not going to judge my life by a hard scale. I broke it as well. If I was going to be wrong, I would not believe in the end of the day, no matter how I I don't do that. I don't do that. You have to acknowledge there's a God. And a lot of the atheists, oh, I don't believe in God. But at the end of the day, deep down, they know that there's a God. We keep coming back. Oh, yeah. yeah. They know. Yeah, that's right. yeah. <laughs> if brother, I don't believe in pink unicorns, I'm going to keep oh. running back to God. <laughs> One brother, he just right. circled right. back again to, right. to get back in the conversation. So God yeah. obviously is using, you know, these kind of means in order to draw people onto himself. Yes. You know? yes. They just need to humble themselves and just acknowledge that, you know, I need to get right with God. Yes. I need to repent. Trust in him and give my life completely you know, over time. So you guys had some good interactions one to one? Yeah. There was Robert. You remember Robert? The guy who um yes. I, he was wearing yes. tight pants yeah. and he was just going crazy. He wanted to grab your amplification. Was he wearing yeah. a jacket? Yeah, like yeah, a jacket yeah, yeah. with the tight pants? I yeah. think so, yes. Yeah. He was wearing, I think it was like a kind of a... a he wanted a your white, amplification. I know, I know. He kept asking <laughs> me if he was wearing pants. I want to talk, I want to talk. He kept on coming up to him, Bring telling him he wants to talk on the microphone. And I said, like, listen, oh, you know, get your own you sober oh, really? up. I said, you sober up, go home, get right with Jesus. Ooh, then, awesome. then when you come, then when you come back next week, and, you can and you're right with God, then we'll share the answer. <laughs> That's the deal. Praise God. Praise God. I'm like, if you don't believe that there is a God, then it's meaningless to have this kind of conversation. That's yeah. Because right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you just walk right on. Yeah. It's nonsense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to have the confidence and the power of the gospel to say, hey, listen, you know, Jesus Christ is calling you. If yeah. you're rejecting him, you're not ready today. Yeah. May the Lord have mercy on you and may there be another opportunity tomorrow or the day yeah. after. But today yeah. you're just not ready. Yeah. You're a rebel against God. That's right. That's right. You, you're hard yeah. in the rebellion. Like Brother Micah says, not many of you today are not ready to get right with God. Mm. You're not ready to get saved. Yeah, not yeah. ready today. Yeah. Accurate, yeah. Statement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. accurate statement. But we love yeah. them and warn them anyways. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. All these guys are like, oh, listen, man, I love you guys. Love that's, that's, what, that's what we're hearing. Yeah. You know? That's what we're hearing. You know? Concerned for your souls. So, I'd be honest with you. I think there should be people. There should be a representative voice here. You see what I mean, though, oh, yeah. eh? About not being their voice here, right? Yeah. It seems like an area that has a lot of need. Oh yeah. And it's one of the greatest, the greatest need. I think it's even greater than wine that young again. In in a year and a half of being down here, we never saw one church go preach and preach down here. Not one. And they need it because you know this. If you look at it, you know this tonight for them is like a, like a Sunday for Christians. You know this is their chapel. This is where they go in order for them to get blessed and. 
you know, receive right. some sort yeah, of, you yeah. know, information about, you know, what they yeah. need to do, you know? So. Well, you're watchmen for their souls, man. God has given us Toronto, man. We can't worry about, you know, other countries. This is our backyard. Oh, yeah, we have to faithful to the Lord wherever, wherever we, we are. are. That's right. That's right. We got to warn them. Maybe you just stood here with a sign. Yeah, yeah. Just warn the wicked, you know? Say, you know, judgment is coming. Even that will already be, you know, loving them, doing the right thing for them, right? I've always said that if you're not willing to preach in your backyard, you have no business preaching in another country. Yeah, I believe that, brother. You have no yeah, business at all. That, if you're not planting seeds in your own backyard, what business do you have? I don't know. I mean, there's millions look, of people look what here. Look Jesus like, said. He said, listen, you guys are going to preach in Judea, in Samaria, and then to the uttermost parts. You start with your, you start in your backyard first. Then you're going to go to Samaria. Then you're going to go everywhere. And hey, listen, I mean, make disciples. Like Jesus said, the disciples will go and preach somewhere else, right? Right. Listen, you you That's make right. a disciple here, a brother from Africa, he's gonna maybe go home, visit South Africa. Yes. Suddenly, pe brothers are preaching in Durban, you know. Now right. you, you preach the brother from Peru, you know. Yes. Suddenly, That's brothers it. are preaching up in Lima, Praise you know. God. Yeah, having Praise that impact God. right here. I mean, I was talking to a guy in Spanish right here. He's all drunk, you know. I see him Starts speaking yeah. to his Spanish. He's like, he's all shut up. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Suddenly, I'm talking his language, and I'm telling him, repent, you know. You're stumbling about in your sin. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, right away, hey. Yes, I know. Hey. Leave no, that young guy there who was uh, mouthing off with the buddies here earlier about, oh, I, I have the Holy Spirit. Oh, oh that, guy that, else, you, that guy has a lot of knowledge. Yeah. You can see he has a lot of knowledge. Yeah. But, wow, just the hostility. No, I don't have... I don't have money.